Hey guys, this is Solrak 333 with another review. And here I have the Earthrise smoke screen. And I have another set of Reaper labels that I'm going to add. So I just wanted to show a quick before and after. So here's the alt load. Looking very nice. I have actually uh, replaced the wheels with the Earthrise uh, Blue Streak since out of the, the car robots he was the only one that had the silver rims so I was able to get my hands on a couple of extra Blue Streaks so I was able to give them all silver rims and I'll have to figure out what to do with all the extra Blue Streaks and uh, but here he is pre-stickered up with silver rims. I might even touch up the little blue peg right there. So. And here is the robot mode. Okay, look nice. Still don't understand why they changed the number. But looks like this will fix that. So we'll see what this guy looks like in a little bit. And this guy looks pretty cool. Took me about an hour and 20 minutes to apply the stickers. And it looks great. Now I didn't use all the stickers. Um, there are four sticker sheets. I didn't even use part two of four because I didn't want to cover up the windows. I like the clear window, so this I didn't need. I used all the stickers, but two, I guess those were optionals right there um, and then same thing here you got a couple of uh, license plate options and uh, I guess other options for the uh, rear panels um, I guess I could have gone with Goodyear but I used the references on the Toy Hacks website which are wrong they got the numbers all mixed up so that's kind of annoying um, the it shows you the numbers of the sticker sheet um, but then it shows you the numbers on the figure itself and they don't match so that's kind of annoying and then uh, I guess you got an option for number 38 or 83 um, I went with 38 and then a couple of spares in case you mess things up. A couple of Autobot stickers there, which I will probably use on other figures. And again, I used a couple of tweezers. I would you know, peel it off and then manipulate it with both tweezers if I need to. And then just place it on the figure. And then just when I got it lined up, and I would use this soft part of this pin to press down on it. If it wasn't lined up, then I would carefully pry it off with an X-Acto knife and just try it again. If there was a teeny tiny spot like that, then I would try to drop it in with the tweezers and then poke with this little stick here. And uh, yeah, man, there's some teeny stickers like this one right here, this light blue one, and this little one by the hip in there. Yeah, but the really nice stickers are the ones you know, like that the the little decals right there. Those are really cool. 
and see what he looks like with his other race car buddies. Now, they are from Cybertron. It'd be funny if uh, that son Martini or Lancia were like curse words in Cybertronian and now they are stuck with their earth moods. And here he is in his car mode. Looking awesome. So we got a lot of cool details. I'm very happy with the number 38 sticker there. And then all the little decals. Little sponsors. I think I got this another wrinkles there that I gotta fix but looks cool. Have a little net on the window there. So yeah, I went with the gambler because that was the reference they used in the website. Um, probably I would have liked the Mr. Goodyear, but I'll stick with that. And uh, yeah, those look cool. Yeah, very nice. And here are his race car buddies. They can now race against each other. Vehicles looking very nice. So here is Earthrise smoke screen with the Toy Hacks Repro label stickers. And the next guy that might get that treatment is him. So thanks for watching guys.